YouTube, team keep it clean. But you know what, before we get started in this video, I need y'all to chill out with all that Jim Harbaugh to the Ravens talk. Y'all really want John and Jim on the same staff at the same time? No thanks. Y'all can keep that. Anyway, team keep it clean. Um, I'm recording this video uh, at halftime of the Titans and the Bengals playoff game. And boy, oh boy. Did y'all see the Titans getting not only pressure, but sacks with one, two, three, four. Four guys, Ravens send this many and still don't even get either one. But anyway, that's all going to change. Could it change for better or could it change for worse with whoever the next defensive coordinator is? We'll see soon in the future. But anyway, I came across this very interesting tweet that it came out around the time that Wink was... I can't say fired, I can't say let go, when Wink and Harbaugh decided... They wanted to go their separate ways and that it was it was it was time. Um, and this came from Albert Breer. And when I read it, I was like, hmm, interesting, but I don't know about it all. Let's read it together. It says some background on the surprising Ravens Wink Martindale divorce. He was in the final year of his deal. And that is something that I did not know. So I would assume that Greg Roman was in the final year of his deal, too. Because I remember after 2019, the Ravens gave both of them significant raises, making them the highest paid offense and defensive coordinators in the league. So I would assume that those deals ran together at the same time, but I don't know 1,000% if they did. But I guess we'll find out later, maybe. Anyway, he said he was in the final year of his deal. Other teams knew it and kicked tires on his availability. Now that, I, I just, I don't even know what to think about that because, not saying it's not true, but... Teams were checking on his availability. What were they checking on his availability to be? Were they saying, hey, Ravens, is Wink available? We want to interview him to be a head coach. Hey, Ravens, is Wink available? We're thinking about him as a defensive coordinator. Now, one would think it would be as a head coach. But at the same time, we always see a report. Okay, this team is interested in that guy as a head coach. This team is interested in that guy as a head coach. This team, we keep seeing that, but we haven't seen not one thing on wink not one not to say there's not interest but we just we haven't seen anything and we've seen it on so many other people around the league but nothing on wink so i just thought that was interesting but anyway it says baltimore didn't so they did not offer him an extension after how 2021 ended that led to the conclusion that a split now was best so Instead of just riding this year out, instead of just playing this year out and seeing how it goes, like, hey, yo, let's do it. He said, nope. Let's listen to the second part. It says, this way, rather than be in a lame duck spot, Martindale can pursue a multi-year deal and the Ravens can get their next long-term coordinator in place now and not a year from now. I don't sense much animosity here. Just the right time for a change for everyone. And this, this screams out Eric DaCosta to me. And the reason I'm going to tell you is because the reason I, I think it screams out Eric DaCosta is because we remember when Eric DaCosta was in. So many things, Eric DaCosta let us know from jump. He, he let us know from the very beginning, from when he got introduced as Ravens GM. He let us know everything that he was about. And he talked about analytics. He said he loves analytics. And analytics will be heavily involved with the Ravens. Something else that he talked about was trying to get stuff done early rather than late. And I think that's been a big difference uh, between Eric DaCosta and Ozzie Newsom. And it's not a shot at Ozzie Newsom at, at all, because you know he did his thing, obviously. Two Super Bowls with the Red. Anyway, um, Ozzie Newsom, a lot of times, he would hold on to players for just a bit too long sometimes. Just, just a little too long. But Eric DaCosta, nine times out of ten, he's willing, hey, if this ain't working out, Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more. But thank you, though. He did it with Tony Jefferson. He did it with Eric Weddle, with C.J. Mosey. Let him play it out. Then it was like, ah, we'll give you an offer, but never mind. But we've seen it with, with um, I was about to say Ryan Jensen, but I meant Alex Lewis with um, the receiver, Jordan Lastly. And there's been, a, there's been plenty of others, too. And it, it comes on the flip side as well. To where instead of waiting till their, their deal expires, you give an extension to Tavon Young, you give an extension to Marshall Yonder, you give an extension to uh, Justin Tucker, Marlon Humphrey. And so you see it. 
So it goes both ways, whether it's getting rid of somebody or it's whether it's getting some giving somebody an extension. Eric DaCosta has shown that he does stuff early rather than late. He doesn't like waiting until the very end. But with this, the whole Giro thing, this is why to me it seems like a firing. You can put all the pretty words on it you want to. You can make it look as beautiful as possible. You can even say, well, you can't even say for this one because there's been times when, like, you know, if you work somewhere, you know there's a big difference between you getting fired and you getting laid off. Because especially when you're telling people the story, like, oh, man, uh, if you, you're telling the right person or you're telling the wrong person, depending on how you feel about them and they feel about you. And you may have a certain reputation. You may, you may be like, oh, man. If I say that I got fired, oh, man, that's going to make me look so bad. I've only been at this job for like a week. And, oh, man, like that, I, 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 I can't say it. You know what? Okay, I got this. Hey, hey, y'all, I, I got some news. I, um, I got laid off today. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Then everybody, be, oh, no, that's okay. You got laid off. All oh, what happened? But if you say you got fired, they'd be like, man, what happened to you? What would what, you get fired for? So it, it's just the, the wording it changes the perception. And with the Ravens, we've seen this before, and we'll see it again in the future too, but the wording changes the perception. If people look at, even on a resume, if you put your work history and whatnot, they're like, hey, what happened here? If you put that you got fired, they'd be like, man, you got fired? Why should we hire you if you're over here getting fired from over there? But on your work history, if you put you got laid off, they'd be like, oh, okay. Company was downsizing, it was budget cuts. Oh, okay, it wasn't you, it was them. So that's exactly what this situation looks like to me. Um, but hey, who knows? It is what it is, right? Um, but something that is interesting, and I guess we just gotta wait for it now, too. Um, the Raven Wink, this is not the only guy who's in a lame duck year for his contract. And, and we know plenty of players who only got one year left on their deal, but we ain't talking about players right now. Now, I mentioned earlier how with Greg Roman, I would expect him to also be in a lame duck year of his contract, but I don't know the specifics. If anybody does know the specifics, put it in the comment section. But the Ravens head coach, John Harbaugh, he has one year left on on his deal we haven't heard anything about an extension so eric da costa is, is eric da costa gonna be like all right is he gonna get something done early rather than later i, I hope not i don't think he should he he gotta make harbaugh earn this thing man he has to so what have you done for me lately what have you done for me lately because, again, we know the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl was, what, what are we in, 2022? Super Bowl was nine years ago. Nine years ago, because it came in 2013. The 2000, 2012 season, obviously, but it came in 2013. So that was nine years ago. So it's, it's put up a shut-up time. But I'm very interested to see how the Ravens and how Eric DaCosta and how Steve Bashotti, how all of them – handle John Harbaugh's deal because again with, with, with this information coming out have there been conversations too with John oh I'm, I'm sure there have been I'm sure there have been plenty I would love to be in the room for those conversations just sitting back like mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm, oh mm, that's a good point mm -hmm, oh yeah mm -hmm, okay yeah okay mm. I would love to just be in there to listen I could give my input too I give my two cents but I wouldn't mind just sitting there listening to see what was said, what was it about, what they brought up. I, I would just love it, but I'm not. That's okay. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how this whole thing goes. Uh, we'll see how this whole situation ends up playing out. Um, and if Wink is going to be the only guy uh, that a move is made on, I don't think he should be, but this whole the the this whole thing about oh because because he's in the last year of his deal and that they just decided it was time to part ways, so he he couldn't play he couldn't coach for one more year. 
That's what you're telling me? He, unless they straight up told him, like, look, man, you got one year left on your deal. We're not gonna, we're not gonna give you an extension unless they told him that, like, we're not gonna extend you after this year. This is gonna be your final year with the team, unless that's what was said. Which, like, I get. Wink could have been like, oh, you know what? If if that's the case, let's let let me just go. Let me just go. But I feel like if Ravens really loved Wink, if they really wanted to keep Wink around. Then they would have options They could be like You know what Hey We want you to stay They could have told him that They could have been like Hey Wink it's, This is your last year Prove it Show us what you about Or they could have been like Wink if We want you to stay And we want you to prove What you about But you know what Just to stay We'll give you a little more incentive We'll give you a little raise We'll give you a little raise Plenty of players And I know playing and coaching Is much different But pl plenty of players They end up playing out On that last year and they got to prove stuff. But it, it happens with coaches as well. It happens with coaches as well. So that's why I just, the whole, oh, they decided it was time to part ways because he's in the last year of his, I just still can't buy it. And hey, mate, I could be wrong. I have been wrong before and I will be wrong plenty of times again. I could be completely wrong about this whole thing. But just basing it off of Eric DaCosta. And like I said, everything that he told us from jump, this just, it, it seems like they let him go. But anyway, I'm sure more information will come out in the coming days. Uh, know that I, I have gotten every single one of y'all questions from subscribers on this and so many other subjects too. And we'll talk about it all very soon this week. If you sent a question over the past couple of days, even over the past week and a half, this will be the week that you should see it. So please be patient. I appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean. I love y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting. Um, 50K is it's around the corner. When we get there, we get there. No rush. But thank you for all being a part of that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. And just like Wink is, and maybe some other people will be too soon enough. I'm out.